welcome back to my channel and another girly video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another Is It Worth It video. I'm going to be reviewing the Bath & Body Works shampoo and conditioner, letting you guys know my thoughts and if I think that it is worth it. So let's jump right into the video and see what I thought. All right, so I'm going to be doing a review of the Bath & Body Works shampoo and conditioner. A couple of hauls ago or a couple videos ago, uh, one of you guys had asked me if I can do a review of the shampoo and the conditioner that I had hauled a couple of hauls ago. So I decided to do a quick little review on the shampoo and on the conditioner. Now... I did recently just utilize it a couple of hours ago. I took a shower and I utilized the shampoo and the conditioner only. So I have not added anything else to my hair. I In the shower, I utilized the shampoo and then the conditioner. I didn't do anything. Then I let it air dry. So this is um, my hair just air dried. I didn't add any heat to it. Um, and then I also didn't add any other products. I didn't add any styling products to my hair. So the only product that I have currently in my hair is the Bath & Body Works shampoo and conditioner. Now, also another thing about my hair, the type of hair that I have, um, it is thick and I do have a bit of a wave. So um, my thoughts so far. So first, the price point of the shampoo and the conditioner, they are both $16.95 each. Um, originally, I got these when they were having a sale. They were having a sale on all of their um, body care and hair care. And it was a sale for five, I think it was $5.95 or $5.96 um, each item. So I got each one of these for uh, five, I think it was $5.95. Um, now the claims that it states that it has, it's that it's made with vitamin B5, aloe, vitamin and vitamin E. And then it says that it's free of sulfates, free of parabens and free of artificial dyes. So for, and that those claims are both for the shampoo and for the conditioner. They both have the same claims. Now I ended up getting the Gingham Gorgeous. Um, this is my current scent. I love the like uh, body care. So the lotion, the shower gel, and the body spray of the Gingham Gorgeous. That is my current uh, spring slash summer scent. So that's why I wanted to get also the shampoo just so that it all could be cohesive. So for Gingham Gorgeous, the fragrance notes are pink strawberry, peach nectar, and peony blossom. Now the thing I will say about the fragrance is that while you're taking a shower, while you're lathering up the shampoo and the conditioner, and right like off of the uh, bottle, the scent smells so good. It is very uh, fragrant um, when it's in the bottle or when you're lathering up. It smells really, really good. Now, let's start off with the shampoo. The shampoo states that it gently cleanses and hydrates to restore softness and shine. I have used these a couple of times. Um, I currently have the regular gingham. That's the one that I kind of started utilizing first. Um, and what I would say in regards to the cleanse, um, I currently utilize the Shea Moisture and the My L shampoos. I feel like when I'm doing my everyday shower or when I am doing kind of like a hair cleaning day, um, the Shea Moisture and the My L um, shampoos make my scalp feel really, really clean. I really like those and they lather really well. This one, this shampoo was not like that. Um, it doesn't necessarily lather very well. Um, you have to use a bit more product for it to lather 
which um, I just felt that it wasn't really that good. I prefer the current shampoos that I have versus this one in regards to it making it feel like it's cleansed. I would say I prefer the other shampoos versus this one. Um, and then the hydrating, restoring softness, and shine. So I feel currently right now, does my hair feel hydrated? Yes and no. I, I feel like it's, it's not dry like some other shampoos where your hair just feels like straw because of how dry it is. It doesn't necessarily feel that way. Um, you can feel that it does have a bit of moisture, but not that much. Um, I, it still does feel a little bit kind of like in the borderline of feeling like straw and dry. So does it hydrate? I would say yes, but very little. Um, does it make it soft? I think once again, it's yes, it, it is a little bit soft, but it's like borderline to where it wouldn't feel soft. Other shampoos make my hair feel so much softer. Um, this one, I mean, does it feel soft? Yes, but not not, I guess, as something that you can claim that it makes your hair feel soft or restore the softness of it, as well as the shine. So is my hair shiny? Yes, it does have a bit of shine, but I think a lot of that also has to do because I do have a ring light on right now. Um, otherwise, in natural light, I wouldn't say that it has that much shine. So for what it claims... I would say, yes, you do feel a little bit of that hydration. You do feel a little bit of that softness. Um, you do feel a little bit of that cleansiness. But is it is it worth it for everything that it says? I would say no. I, I feel like the claims, it's kind of like on the borderline. Um, and then same thing with the uh, conditioner. And the conditioner states that it's going to detangle, once again, restores softness and uh, shine. So does it detangle? Yes, but not as well as I would have expected. I have other conditioners that detangle way better than what this one did. This one, I mean, I, want, I, if I had to pick between like a percentage, I would say this detangles about 90% maybe 85%. I did still have some trouble with some areas in my hair that were still uh, very tangled. Um, so does it detangle? I'd say 85 to 90%. Yes, it detangles. Um, softness and shine, like I said, it, it's the same. Um, is there softness? Yes, there is, but it's kind of like borderline. Is there shine? Yes, yes, there is. But like I said, also borderline. Is it something, are these two products something that wowed me? No. Is it something that I would repurchase? No. Is it something that I would reuse? Yes. So I am going to reuse these and finish them. However, I'm not going to go and repurchase them once they are empty. I feel like there are uh, a lot more uh, other shampoos that do a better job. However, I think what I will do is this is going to be my um, kind of like last step of my shower routine. This is just going to be to add fragrance to my hair, which that's the other thing. Um, I thought that because they were shampoos from Bath and Body Works, that their fragrance would be um, a lot more potent and that they would last a lot longer in my hair. Um, I want to say it's been about maybe five to six hours since I last took a shower and I utilized these. And like I said, I don't have any other product um, in my hair and you could smell the fragrance but it's very 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 subtle when you're taking a shower and when you're in the shower you can smell it a lot more but once it's in your hair that fragrance is very 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 subtle so that's kind of like another reason why I wouldn't repurchase just because the claims that it has 
they're kind of like, eh. And then what I would expect to be the strong point on these uh, shampoo and conditioners would be the fragrance and the potency of the fragrance. And that itself is also very, very um, weak. It's very, very subtle. I It doesn't really um, smell. Now, could that be because of the fragrance? Maybe there's other fragrances that are more uh, potent than the uh, Gingham Gorgeous maybe possibly the the regular gorgeous does leave your hair smelling a little bit uh longer and stronger than the gingham gorgeous however even with the regular gingham i don't get this um this long lasting fragrance so um for me i'm gonna use these up but i won't repurchase i think overall i'm probably gonna give the shampoo and conditioner a two star they they're not horrible but they're also not amazing um some of the claims that they state that they do i mean yes you can kind of see it but am i going to switch my current shampoo and conditioner for these ones no am i going to repurchase these ones i ran out no so for that i think i'm going to give it a two um i would say if you are somebody that is on the fence of whether you want to buy the shampoo and conditioner or not if you yourself want to try out the shampoo and conditioner because like i said um, my hair is more on the wavy and thick hair, so maybe if you have a different hair type, this might work way better for you than it did for me. But I would say if you do want to try these out, try to get them when they are on sale, in particularly when they are the five, six dollar uh, price range. Um, I think that's when you should get them. I wouldn't get them on the buy three, get one free or the buy, um, buy three, get three free. I think within that coupon code or that promo code, they're still not worth it there. I would say if you want to try them, just wait for that like five to six dollar uh, price range for for each. All right, loves, so that was it for today's video. Like always, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe if you haven't already to join the Pink and Glam family. And like always, let me know down below in the comments what other products do you think that I should review? Is there any products from my hauls that you want me to do a quick review on? I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.